Okay, YouTube. So, back to the uh, GMC 300E. I'm going to show you a little bit of disclaimer about this little guy. I claimed it was a good item, and it is. So, what's wrong with it? Well, as you can read right now, either we're in a very safe place that has zero uh, background radiation, or it's not functioning properly. Um, the number two part of that, or the number two option, uh, is the correct one. It's not functioning properly. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this, or a part you'll need to be to fix it with, and some disclaimers about if you're going to attempt this. Um, so, uh, if you don't know what this is, go back to my video that explains what this is, and I always did good reviews about it, um, but today is just kind of a fixer-upper. Um, this will happen if you put it in your pocket a lot and carry it around. I basically take this thing everywhere with me because it's been interesting to have with me on several occasions, especially when you walk into a store that sells Fiesta wear. So, let's get down to business. What's the problem? Well, let's see. So we got our Fiesta wear here, and you put it up to it, and nothing happens. Absolutely nothing. Now, here's the strange part. If we lean it this way, or sorry, if we lean it the other way, right here, we start detecting radiation. Very peculiar, huh? And then if we... Nothing, but... Then it starts. So, if you're having this problem, I will tell you what the problem is, and I will tell you how to fix it. Simple is, is you need to buy a new Mueller tube. So, first things first, power it off. Turn it upside down. Take it apart. Okay, unscrew. Four little screws you gotta unscrew. Once you take it apart, you'll see the back of it. Uh, there's a little rechargeable 9 volt battery. Kind of cool. You can go ahead and disconnect that. Just kind of careful with it. Um, so, main problem with this is the Mueller tube. And like I said, if you're carrying it around in your pocket or you drop it several times, which I have done unfortunately. Uh, the first time was nice to me, the second time was not. So, what's the problem? Now, this is called a Geiger Mueller tube, or Geiger tube, or Mueller tube, whatever. Um, please do not, uh, in any way, try to take this off while the Geiger counter is on, let alone leave the battery in while the Geiger tube, or while the Geiger is, uh, while you're taking it apart leave the battery on, there's still probably going to be some sort of pulse or uh, electricity that hasn't been used inside the capacitors and they'll discharge through you. This Geiger counter um, is extremely, uh, can be extremely dangerous. I think all Geiger counters have an expected uh, or a, uh, operating voltage somewhere. In some cases it can be over 200 to uh, 4,000 volts going through that tube. So I don't recommend taking it apart with it with the battery on or even if it's off so yeah just connect the battery try to hold down your power button and just try to get any electricity in there gone and then that should work and then actually if you want to you can kind of dab the diodes because it'll short them out and it does work now if you do take this off if you take the cover off and you're not changing the tube and you have the battery in um, and even if your Geiger counter is off, if you touch anywhere on the circuit board, the electricity will go through your finger and complete the circuit, therefore turning it on. So don't do that because you can either risk shock or uh, just shorting it out and blowing a capacitor or two, maybe even an IC chip. So don't do that. But um, So basically what's going on is, I don't know if you can see it here. There's a little glass part, so if I shake it, you can see it moves down. I'm trying to get the best view of this thing. Let's let it focus in here. There we go. So in there, there's a little glass part slid down in there, right? That should be inside that glass cylinder. So when it's like this, it doesn't work. Because I guess it's an open vacuum. But for some reason, when I turn it like this, it extends out and it works. I'm not too sure what's going on. Or actually, 
sorry, this there's a metal wire in the middle, and it's not touching the uh, middle, I think that's called an anode, or cathode, cathode, yes. Therefore, uh, it's not touching it, and you can still detect uh, electrons moving in a tube with high voltage, and that's what the Geiger count, Geiger count registers. But if it's moving around and it touches the other side, you're shorting out the tube, and you may risk shorting out your uh, circuit board, but for me it's okay, I've checked all the like, IC chips on it and everything, everything seems to be operating to the utmost capacity. But simply just order another one of these on YouTube, or not, wow, YouTube, uh, order another, wheeze, another, wheeze, uh, another one of these on um, GQ Electronics, or there is an eBay link. Now, GQ Electronics doesn't have any more in stock right now because they're, they're actually back-ordered. Uh, they are cheaper, they're about $24, 23 but if you need it right away, um, go ahead and get the uh, eBay uh, Mueller tube. Just basically type in, you can either type in GMC, or G GQ Electronics, GMC, Geiger Counter Tube, or you can type in, there's a number that's 4011, uh, and then it should pop up and you should see it, $28, and that's not including shipping. So, that's a uh, easy Geiger Counter or just a disclaimer about this little guy. If you carry it around, you're more likely to loosen the tube up or something's gonna happen with the tube. So, but then again, I got the CDV700 to help out with that one because it's a pretty good carrying around tool. Now, I do have some other little specialties for you guys tonight. So today, I went uh, downtown San Antonio once again and I went to an antique shop. Um, there was an oddity store and an outdoor antique shop, indoor antique shop, all different kinds of stuff as usual. They did happen to have a giant pile of vacuum tubes, so I decided why not go through and start looking at some, and I found some pretty intense vacuum tubes. Um, I did fi happen to find two from my amp, which I'll probably make a video of later. Um, a vacuum tube amp. That, these are 6B or 6BA11s, which are actually what I need to operate it. But these two are the ones that are interesting. So, if anybody's watching this right now and they know tubes and stuff, this is an x-ray tube. Um, this is basically, and it, if you've ever seen an x-ray tube, the glass on an x-ray tube is much, much thicker than a normal vacuum tube. So, but these are both x-ray tubes of different kinds. Quite interesting. Um may produce, this one's not an x-ray tube, I think it's a um, high voltage diode uh, and you can actually make plasma with this, which is really cool but anyways, so this is an x-ray tube and this is what is used in x-ray machi machines basically what happens is a high voltage or a, uh, a filament's lit up in there and that heats up and then you put power through it and the power or the energy uh, makes beams of lightning, kind of, if you will, and in the uh, lightning, or in the sparks, is x-rays, because when you put high voltage through a vacuum and it arcs over something, you're creating x-rays. Very interesting phenomenon. Uh, very dangerous. This is something that my survey meter will pick up, my CDV715. If you do have a CD715, it will pick it up. But, there goes another disclaimer about don't do it. It's very dangerous. Um, and if, I'm not going to even mess with it right now, I'm telling you how to make one, I'll make a video on x-rays later when I feel comfortable with making it, because they're pretty dangerous. So this is our, this is an x-ray tube, you put some high voltage in one of these leads, I'm, I can't remember which one at the moment, uh, low voltage in two of them for, to heat up the filament, and then you put the high voltage through one, and then on top here, and that makes your x-rays, pretty cool. This one is a diode. A high voltage diode. It, in theory, does the same exact thing, except for this is actually not made to generate x rays. This is just made to uh, create a direct current from an alternating current. So, more about these little guys later. Um, but that's it for tonight. See ya.